Hello friends, welcome to another game tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to focus track images in GIMP. If you don't know, focus tracking is a post-production technique where photos captured at slightly different focus distances are merged together to create a final image that is completely sharp. This technique is useful when it is not possible to create enough depth of field in camera. Focus tracking is not difficult to do but it can be time consuming. It is recommended to use a tripod when you shoot so it doesn't move between the frames. Some cameras have focus tracking option so don't forget to switch it on. If you are new to this channel please consider subscribing. I publish weekly tutorials on photography, editing and tech. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. First, we are going to import the images we want to edit. Um, so that go to file menu here and then we can open the images. But in that case, the images will be opening separately, but we need them together. So to do that, we can open them as layers. So I'm clicking on this. So I've got three images here. I am importing them all. Not changing anything. Here I have got all these images. So now I am going to change the order of the image. I'm going to take this to the top and this one in the middle. So before going into the detail, I want to duplicate the image so that we can see the difference after editing. Right. Now let's have a close look. So friends, as you can see, in this first image, uh, we have got focus on the right eye and we do not have uh, as much focus as we have got in the right eyes in the left one. So um, let's check the second image. So here we have got focus on the left eye, but not in the other areas. And let's have a look at the third image. So in this image, we have got mainly focus around in the mouth area. So what we'll be doing, we'll be combining all the focuses um, and we'll get a sharper picture. If you want to work with the same image, I'm going to give the link below. You can check it out and download. Um, right, so now we are going to add the layer mask. To do that, right click on this first layer and then add layer mask. From there, select white full opacity and add. Okay. So now we go to the paint brush tool and then from there take a softer brush this one or that one or anything else you wish and then you can adjust the size hardness and force according to your preference and then we'll have to brush over the eye area and you've got to be careful here because um, we'll be revealing the sharp, uh, sharper part from the, uh, I mean, from the second image. So, if you look at the second image, um, as you can see, it doesn't have focus on the right eye. So, if we paint over this area, we'll get um, blurry part in the first image too. So, we just have to be, uh, we just will have to uh, have a close look around here that where we are going to paint. So, it is basically around here. So as we are printing, as you can see that uh, the sharper part is revealing. Okay. Now we are going to the second image. We don't need that now. And similarly, we're going to add layer mask, white full opacity. And um, as you can see that here we have focus in the third image and that will be revealed in the second one. Similarly, we'll be painting just over the mouth area.
okay now we go back to the first image and we'll have to brush again in that area so we're pretty much done so there is one thing I want to mention if you want to edit the picture like if you want to work with shadows highlights colors and if you want to apply different filters to the images then do it before applying the layer mask however you can do it later too and also apply everything equally uh, for example if I want to increase the saturation of this picture then I surely can do that and it has to be equal for the other images too so you can simply repeat the same values to the next images too to do that go to the filters and you will have that option like the saturation value we have applied to the first image we can repeat it to the second one too similarly we can do the same thing for the third image as well but it is rather better to do it before applying the layer mask so friends this is how you can focus stack images in GIMP. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.